Hello guys, welcome to iTutor. Today our last lecture series about IGNO last 10 days preparation and strategy. So today we will cover information and communication technology and tomorrow Sunday 24th January is the exam date. Okay, hope you all guys are prepared with all materials and uh, uh, hall tickets. Uh, so uh, sleep well today and just go through uh, the ICT also uh, information and communication technology you can expect uh, uh, five ten questions from this field so uh, it's just a short video I just prepared because this is the last day uh, for your uh, exam preparation so don't be panic and don't be hectic uh, be cool okay so all the best for tomorrow to all of you and uh, we will meet with uh, uh, another lecture series uh, uh, from tomorrow and uh, today it's a uh, EGNO uh, exam is going to be over and we will discuss interview uh, about interview also after this exam okay so let's start the information and communication technology today so all of you know what is information and communication technology in our everyday life we are using the technologies uh, even your mobile phone uh, and that's a technology you are using laptop or computers that's uh, coming under this technologies information and communication te technology it's a short form is ict is extension uh, extensional term of for information technology it ka ek extensional form hai, information and communication technology that stress the role of unified communications and the integration of telecommunication that means telephonic line and wireless signals that is uh, coming under the technology base in this ict computers as well as necessary enterpr enterprise software middleware uh, storage and audio visual uh, system or uh, and uh, which enable users to assess store transmit and manipulate information okay whatever the pehle uh, ka system aapko pata hai it se pehle uh, it's a very slow system the abhi communication is very fast you can in seconds uh, uh, even seconds bhi nahi chahiye you can uh, communicate from usa to india right you can pass the messages uh, you can send your documents with the uh, digital form and digital signature also available nowadays so there is uh, nothing is the issue where you are okay you can assess all the things even your study materials from universities your colleges you can assess to as a pdf and all even in igno universities providing all the materials through a digital way okay so this is very simple no need to go to colleges you can uh, attend online classes nowadays and you can study uh, from your home only if you are sick no problem you will get the uh, all materials and study notes through your uh, email or so uh, things are very easy nowadays and the communication also very very fast life going on through this technology um, even in not only in education field all the fields it's i see playing an important role nowadays without the uh, um, without the presence of technology no uh, human beings are nowadays in the world i think so because at least a phone at least a chota sa phone to hai sabke paas right they can cure call and uh, i am here you can communicate with your family members your friends wherever you are okay that's the uh, field of technology only so uh, you can store your data as you can assess from googles and you can uh, send that uh, data to someone else and even you can edit manipulate whatever you want to do in the technology so you can do through that okay that's basically the information technology the term ict is also used to refer uh, to the cover a convergence of audio visual and telephonic network with the computer networks through a signal because it's all are the you know, based on signals right one tower is there it's um, you know all uh, network system is there uh, so it's all wireless system and network system and telephonic network with the computer network through a single cabling or link system okay there is a large economic incentive or huge cost savings due to elimination of the telephonic network to merge the telephone network with the computer network system using single unified system of cabling signal distribution and management 
so now it is you don't want to go to bank to withdraw money or, or want to you want to send money you can go, uh, send your money through your phone and uh, you, you can access the mini statement from that so there is all the app and all the systems are available and even uh, no need to uh, uh, you know withdraw the money it's a digital system digital coins are there uh, and shopping also you can do through online so uh, everything is in under technology technology is handling uh, all the things nowadays okay so coming days it will increase only no nothing will decrease because technology are um, uh, heading uh, even human life may be heading karte technology is right ICT is a broad subject. It's a broad subject. The concept are evolving. The technical terms and technical conditions, its cost, maintaining, everything is. It's a vast subject. If you want to study, it's a, a special uh, degree also. Therefore, in uh, IT field, and everything is separated. It's a vast uh, field. The term covers any product that will store, uh, retrieve, manipulate, transmit, or receive information electronically in a digital form. Example: personal computers, digital televisions. email robots these are the examples of ict and for clarity supo supo provide an ict hierarchy where all levels of hierarchy contain some degree of commonality in that they are related to technologies that facilitate uh, the transfer of information and various types of electronically mediated communications theoretically difference between interpersonal communication technologies and mass communication technologies have been identified by the philosopher piyush madhur skills uh, framework for the information age is one of many models for describing and managing competencies for ict professionals uh, for the 21st century so nowadays in 21st centuries we know uh, technology professionals are giving more importance in any organization even administration level also the supporting technology staffs are specialized staffs are very important in nowadays because uh, it it need a special education it need a special training for that everything you know software they they need to handle software how to install that everything is is uh, important uh, study they needed for separately you know uh, the in in your everyday life you face all all the world faces covid 19 right so that um, uh, the technology is importance of technology we already so all the education institutions are conducting classes through uh, online I even t- through TV, uh, through mobile phones, through computers, they are providing all the study materials. They are doing classes through that, and um, and बच्चों लोग क्या करते हैं? Access the data through emails and WhatsApp. There is WhatsApp groups are they are making these all are the place of uh, you know and social distancing. How China you know uh, Chinese uh, they are uh, used robots for the social distancing. How they care their patients through robotic system. Okay, these are the current. the face part of the ict uh, this all you saw in the news the last year <laughs> so now also they, they are using it's a covid is still in uh, affecting our uh, entire society so we are also using the technology for maximum reducing the uh, presence of uh, to human beings right it's uh, office also working through online and how work from home how they are handling this all through technology only through um, they are sending files through emails they are storing their files in uh, google drive and they are uh, editing uh, from uh, uh, their laptop and computers they store their all the data these all are the examples of uh, ict information communication technology the phrase information and communication technologies has been used by academic researchers since 1980s okay this is the main mm, Uh, use of this word coming uh, from the period of 1980s the abbreviation ict became popular after it was used in the report to the uk government by dennis stevenson in 1997 okay remember these names and a year also just uh, keep it in mind and then it the revised national curriculum for england wales and northern ireland in 2000 however in 2012 the royal society <laughs> commented that the use of the term ict should be discontinued in british school as it has attracted too many negative connotations it has in ict there is negative also positive sides also okay from 2014 the national curriculum has been used word computing which reflect the addition of computer programming into the curriculum 
and what is the role of uh, ICT in the education field? In education, the United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization, what is that? UNESCO. A division of the United Nations, UNK division is UNESCO, okay, has made integrating ICT into education part of its effort to ensure equity and access to education. The following take it directly from a UNESCO publication one uh, on educational ICT explain the organization's position on the initiatives information and communication technology can contribute to universal access to education so you can access uh, universally the you can uh, access uh, even uh, you want to assess the materials from UK you can assess through uh, uh, the uh, through educate this IT sec uh, sector so education system universally connected through ICT equity in education there is equity also all all individuals can assess the materials in same time only you need some data and or Wi-Fi or only internet connection is needed for that right and the delivery of equality learning and the teaching of course all the world uh, world researchers can connect through one platform right and uh, uh, teaching uh, teachers professionals develop and more efficient education management governance and administration unesco take a holistic and comprehensive approach to promoting ict in education assess inclusion and quality are among the main challenge they ad they can address the organization's uh, industrial platform for ict in education focus on um, these issues through the joint work of these of its sectors communication and information education and science ye sub sectors ko ek sath leke aana chahiye communication and information education and science ko otherwise ek sath aayenge to only they will work right so education is another sector uh, communication and information is another sector so they uh, we need to join that uh, three sectors Despite the power of computers to enhance and reform teaching and learning practice, improper implementation is a widespread issue beyond the reach of increase funding and technologies advances with little evidence that teachers and tutors are properly integrating ICT into everyday learning. So, pehle ka teachers they don't know what is computer, how what is the computer knowledge, how nowadays is compulsory for the or curriculums. Uh, you need to study. Um, a basic computer knowledge then only you can perform in your field right even a teacher also you need a teacher also need to study and university staff also need to study because uh, now all filing systems are based on digitalized right and uh, and um, so uh, it's very important uh, everyone need to study and their uh, part intrinsic barriers such as belief in more traditional teaching practice and individual attitudes towards computers in education as well as the teachers on comfort with the computers and their ability to use them all as a result in varying effective in the integration of ICT in the classroom so this is about uh, how uh, ICT played uh, in it because UNESCO uh, uh, certified that ICT is important and everything. So globally, it's become a uh, one uh, one important uh, subject for the, uh, all of the all of you, all professionals and all the uh, individuals need to study the uh, ICT. So it's very important. You can accept, accept questions from uh, this field uh, based on software, hardware, and everything. Basic questions only will come and. Uh, uh, universities are all in the uh, education fields role also we already discussed okay so um, be prepared for tomorrow all the best to all thank you